Welcome to Prayer and Bible Band Lesson 6. Today's topic is Power to Receive Good Things from God. Our background reading is coming out of Deuteronomy chapter 33, verse 6, Psalms chapter 84, verse 11, Ecclesiastes chapter 2, verse 24, Luke chapter 11, verse 13, Luke chapter 12, verse 32, Romans chapter 8, verse 28, 2 Corinthians chapter 9, verse 8, Titus chapter 2, verses 9 and 10. The devotional reading is coming out of Joshua chapter 23, verses 1 through 15. Our central verse is coming out of Jeremiah chapter 5, verse 25. I will read the King James Version first and then the New Living Translation. Your iniquities have turned away these things, and your sins have withholden good things from you. The New Living Translation Your wickedness has deprived you of these wonderful blessings. Your sin has robbed you of all these good things. The key terms for today's lesson Iniquity, Masterpiece, Unique Iniquity, Gross gross injustice, a wicked act or thing. Masterpiece, a work done with extraordinary skill, a supreme intellectual or artistic achievement. Unique, being the only one, being without a like or equal, able to be distinguished from all others of its class or type. The introduction says, a person raised in a Christian home has always been taught that God is his heavenly father and that he loves and cares about his children. Whatever concerns his children concerns him. He tells his children to cast all their cares upon him, for he cares about whatever it is that bothers his children. God says that if humans, who are basically evil without God in their lives, know how to give good gifts, how much more does he know how to give good things to those who ask for them? God knows what things his children have need of, but he wants his children to communicate with him and ask him for what they want. Some children have problems communicating with their Heavenly Father because of the negative relationship they have had with their earthly father. But he needs to learn and know that God is a righteous father and he is good and perfect all the time. The discussion. Sometimes it has been necessary for some people to experience negative things in their relationships in the natural family life to be able to appreciate and bring them to the good things that God has in store for them. Living in a society that is in love with self can sometimes cause a person to become unhappy and unfulfilled because their focus has been primarily on themselves. Many times they do not know or don't remember that they were not created for themselves. They don't remember or don't know that they were created to give glory to God. They are not aware that they have been chosen for a greater purpose than just being happy for the sake of being happy. When a person becomes aware that his purpose includes living according to God's good pleasure and his will, it changes, changes his entire perspective on his life. The believer has the privilege to ask, seek, and knock, and so many good things become available to him. And that's Matthew chapter 7, verses 7 through 8. God is a loving, compassionate God who desires to give every good and perfect gift to his children, but they must be aware of that and be positioned to receive the gifts that God has to offer, for he daily loads his children with benefits. Jesus told his disciples to ask for his kingdom to come in their lives when they pray. He wants each believer to experience his kingdom, which is not meat nor drink, but it is joy and peace in the Holy Ghost. But the believers must be willing to deny themselves of some of their fleshly desires and walk in the fruit of the Spirit and increase their trust in their God. Only then can the believer enjoy and receive the kingdom 
blessings while he lives here on earth. As dear children, they must learn to know and become comfortable with their Heavenly Father. As they develop a relationship with Him, they will become comfortable being in His arms, realizing that they are safe in His arms because all fear is gone. Only love, power, and soundness of mind remain. God wants His children to know that He is the Father of the fatherless. He is Father, to those who are directionless, for he is a God of leadership and wants to lead those who have no leader. He is a good God who wants to lead you in paths of righteousness as he leads your heart. In a world that leaves believers sad, empty, burned out, and isolated, God wants to lead you to purpose, significance, to connection, joy, and peace. He wants you to enjoy the abundant life that he so freely gives. The conclusion, every believer needs to know that God designed them to see him, know his character, and let the truth of his goodness lead to a deeper relationship with him. When a believer can see God for who he is, his heart will become stirred to find rest in his goodness and love and seek to be like his wonderful character. Remember that God did not make a mistake when he made you. You may be the result of what someone labeled a mistake, but not so with God. He gave you your unique gifts that are a part of the calling that is on your life, and you must remember just how special you are. Really, you are God's masterpiece, and you need to walk and talk in God's goodness with a fresh energy from the Holy Spirit. The questions for today's lesson. Number one, why is it necessary to have power to receive certain things? Number two, what are some of the good things that God does for his children? Number three, why is God so good to his children? The essential thought, just ask for what you need and receive it. The end. God bless you and thank you for joining me today.